Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another series of Dichi Guru and in this series of us we will be learning how to install more than one WordPress themes on our website like uh, people used to ask that is it even possible to install more than one theme on my WordPress website or not and just to answer yes it is possible and that is very very simple in order to install it fine now uh, in order to learn how to uh, ins- how to use more than one theme on our WordPress website, I have just taken a sample of one of my website, which is digitalguru.com. Fine. So, like, I have created this website as one of the platform where you can come down and sh- even share your some of your knowledge that you're having, or even you can ask a few queries that you might be having re- related to digital marketing or anything. Fine. Apart from query answer and question, even uh, it's being designed in, in such a way that you can give certain examinations of Google and also read some blogs out there. Fine. So, uh, so just uh, not delaying any uh, more, and uh, just let's learn how to install more than one WordPress theme on our WordPress website. So, in order to install more than one WordPress theme, you just simply need to go to your C panel. Like in order to go to your C panel, just simply type your domain name forward slash C P A N E L C panel. Fine. And here is my C panel. So just simply log into my C panel. In your C panel, if you will just scroll down, you'll find an option of either Softaculous or WordPress written out there. So under Softaculous app installer. You will find WordPress. Fine. Just simply click on WordPress. Fine. Now, where is the WordPress installation part? Simply click on Install Now. Fine. And as soon as you'll be clicking on Install Now, you you'll be having this kind of interface. So, in order to install a one more theme on your WordPress website. Just you simply need to like if you remember while earlier you were installing the base uh, in the WordPress on your website, you removed the WP. Fine, but this time you'll not remove WP. In fact, you write the name of the page or the functionality. Like uh, I'm having a website which is into blogging, and I want to add a new theme which is into like uh, question answer on my blogging website. So ideally, I would be making one page or one section with the name of question answer stuff like that. Or if I'm having a question answer series and I'm trying to make a video library, and I'm having a theme which which is very good in making a video library, so I'd be using that theme. And I, if 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 I'm implementing a theme that would be working on a certain pages, right? So in order to use, uh, uh, in order to install a theme obviously we'd be having a page or certain stuff so we simply need to write the name of the page out there for which we are installing the theme like suppose i'm installing it for the test i'm i'm just testing it i'll just write it out here test fine and after installation after just writing test i'll simply go out here this is my username and my password i'll write test one two three four five six and it's good enough and I will simply install it. Fine, so just few seconds. So it's done. It's done. Now it's done. So, like, if I'll go out here, see, this is my this is my same domain with another theme. This is the basic theme that comes. Fine. And if I want to log in into this, I'll just simply write wp hyphen admin. My username is admin and my password is test123456. Enter. And I am here on my backend. Why? Can you see this is my backend? From here, I can add any theme that I want on this interface. Fine, whichever theme I want, like I want to change this theme now. I want to activate this theme. And just this is a small sample I'm trying to show you all. And here I go. Yeah, fine. Now, now the question comes that how will I connect 
these two pages like like one theme and another theme how will i bridge these two fine yeah so in order to bridge these two stuffs we will use a very small and very simple technique like we'll simply go to our website main website fine uh, we'll go to the admin of our website let me just simply go out there yeah here is my backend out here i'll create a menu i'll go to appearance under appearance i'll go to menu fine fine just to just for the reference i'll even open my this website in the front end so just to check Fine. My current menu is structured in such a way. Like this is my current menu structure. Home, Google, blog, subscription, WordPress, and stuffs like that. Fine. I'll go back. I don't want the subscription. I'll just simply remove it. Fine. Now I need to add a menu on my menu bar so that it get connected with the new WordPress. So I'll use the custom link. Fine custom link i'll simply write the url of the new website so this is my new website fine new website with a new theme i'll copy this url come back here and place the url and in the link suppose i have created this uh, uh, i have installed this theme for the video library so i'll write it as like v i d o v o i b r a Add it. I'll keep it above the Google examination. Fine. Save menu. Just refresh it. And here it is. So is video library fine so if anyone is coming down to my website it will be simply thinking that this is a video library which is a part of my website so it's simply click on this and right now it is in the test website which i i could have made in the name of video library only so it will be there in the video library so out here on this website fine like on this uh, wordpress also i need to create a menu which should be similar to my previous website's menu fine so that the customers don't feel disconnected in the menu or in the option and when your work is done they can simply click on home tab and they would be returning back home of this website right on your primary website right so i hope uh, i hope you are clear with how to install more than one theme on one web wordpress website only right how does it helps you like for different different uh, uh, features you can install different different uh, uh, themes which would be adding a very uh, 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 you know uh, uh, good look and feel so that customers are more engaged and that will help you in increasing the domain rank of your website fine thank you for watching this video and i hope you liked it in case you are having any query do uh, put the comments uh, do put your queries in the comment section and uh, do hit the like button if you like the way that uh, i have taught you how to make this website sorry uh, an additional how to put an additional theme on your website fine thank you for watching my video and have a great day ahead thank you